Does multitasking work? I mean, does it really work? I came across this video by Nicholas Carr. Now, Nicholas Carr is a writer who talks about technology, business, and culture. And this presentation that I got the clip from was at Purdue University. And I think what he has to share with us on multitasking is worth your time. It's only three minutes. Check it out. The first major study of digital media uh, was done at Stanford University. The researchers got a bunch of people, about half of them identified as heavy screen users, computer users, internet users, and the other half were much lighter users of the technology. The heavy users they called, I think, heavy media multitaskers, and the others they called light media multitaskers. They gave both sets of people uh, a set of six fundamental tests of mental function of how well they were able to control their mind, solve problems, and so on. And what they found is that in all six of the tests, uh, the heavy media multitaskers did worse um, than the light media multitaskers. Uh, they were less able to maintain their concentration, less able to resist distraction, less able to differentiate important stuff worth focusing on from trivia that Really, they should have let pass by, and even worse at multitasking itself. The more you multitask, weirdly enough, the worse you get at it. Um, and what, they, what one of the lead researchers explained was that everything distracts these people. And what he meant was that as you adapt to this technology of distraction, what grabs your attention isn't what's important, it's simply what's new. The latest thing to come across your screen, the latest notification, the latest message from a friend, or whatever. So. There it is, the definitive answer. Does multitasking work? Not really. We've got a lot of things distracting us, but our ability to stay focused on a singular objective in the long run will pay off. This is Victor Antonio. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown.